Authority. Many people are outraged over Councilmember Ruben Diaz Sr.'s comments about the chamber being controlled by the homosexual community. They want an apology from him, and some of those people who want the apology from him include Bronx lawmakers, gay rights activists, and now his own son, Ruben Diaz Jr., the Bronx Borough President. This kind of treatment of a community, you know, has to be called out. Paul Schindler, editor in chief of Gay City News, is calling out Councilmember Ruben Diaz Sr. If someone were to say, uh, I got to the city council and found out that the Jews run it, or I got to the city council and found out that the blacks run it or the Dominicans run it, people would be up in arms. The Bronx council member came under fire after saying the legislative body is controlled by the homosexual community to a Spanish speaking radio program. The 75 year old Puerto Rican born politician who opposes a same sex marriage also called New York City Council Speaker Corey Johnson a homosexual married to another man. The speaker, who is openly gay and single, fired back, saying the comments are offensive and have no place in New York City, adding he should apologize to his colleagues and the LGBTQ community. Guys like this who make comments like this stay in public life. Late this afternoon, Diaz Sr.'s own son, Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr., also condemned his father. He took to Twitter, calling his father's sentiments antagonistic, quarrelsome, and wholly unnecessary, adding he should apologize. He's got a granddaughter who's a lesbian. Uh, she was very active in the fight for marriage equality. It's the borough president's niece. Uh, this is the way he talks about members of his own family. Schindler says the councilman, who's on the committee for four hire vehicles, has a history of homophobic comments and it needs to stop now. 25 years ago, when it was Stonewall 25 and the gay games were coming to New York, he said that the city should cancel the event. I'd like a full apology from him, and if there's not an apology, what I'd like to see is the city council censure him. Council member Diaz is refusing to apologize, saying his comments were not homophobic, but rather true. He's even calling himself the victim in all this. Now, we did reach out to him for further comment. As of now, we have not heard back from him.